Well, today we're out here setting up a test firing range uh, to see if we can do some uh, internal testing on a bulletproof vest. And uh, we're going to be shooting with a 44 mag. And um, Mr. Tim Moore is going to be co conducting the, the actual test results and the firing. And um, we're going to see how it works out when we do fire on this, this new type of vest to see we can uh, do it as done by the NIG testing labs, uh, independent of the labs, but also to be able to do it in an environment that uh, is out in the open. Okay. This test is pretty, pretty elementary. It's the vest attached to a cedar bale. And it's just held on there with uh, these slats here, and we're gonna fire some rounds into it and uh, see how it does. This is Mr. Tim Moore, and he's the inventor of the gel material that's gonna be used in this uh, testing for this bulletproof vest. Good afternoon. Uh, I'd like to point your attention to what we're doing here with the bale of cedar, and we're going to reenact the test that's done by NIJ and recognized by the military as we work today. We're going to back off and the test is actually going to be conducted from 16 feet, which is the standard for NIJ. Here's Mr. Moore calculating the distance needed. And as you can see, we put it right at 16 feet. And um, those tests are coming right up shortly. That is one mighty fine gun. This pamphlet here has already been shot by NIJ regulations. And this is the actual recording number for NIJ. And what happened was when we shot, we ended up with uh, this being the actual piece that stopped. And that's what it's supposed to do. Then we shot at 30 degrees, right on the surface, didn't go anywhere. So the actual, the actual healing process from the body is being able to reduce the blunt trauma injury. And that's what the, the gel panel actually does. As you can see, it'll be, uh, we'll be showing the gun, the shot, and the videotaping of it. 44 Magnum Taurus Tracker, uh, four inch barrel. And uh, what kind of load is gonna be in that gun? Uh, first round will be a uh, Magtech uh, Remington Magnum 44 Magnum 240 grain bullet. Okay, these next shots are from the video camera on a tripod. Uh, taping the actual impact of the 44 Magnum hitting the target. Firing one. Firing two. Firing three. Firing four. As you can see, no penetration. No rounds came through. Okay, we're getting ready to unfold the bulletproof vest. And as you can see, there are three holes. One, two, three. Wow, it's right on the surface. Preliminary results indicate the 44 mag stopped on the surface. Stops right on the surface. And there's a close up of that uh, lead. And you can see that on that hole. Opening up the third hole, you can see that the load also has been stopped. And again, nothing on the back. No penetration at all. And again, we're talking about a bulletproof vest that dimensionally is probably no more than three quarters of an inch, somewhere close to that. And uh, you can see there that it's, it's not much thicker than one and a half of my fingers. Uh, very impressed. I'm surprised from 16 feet that the, uh, the bullet goes no, no further than just the surface is, is amazing. I can't believe there's no impact whatsoever on the backside. 
That's amazing. It's phenomenal. Thank you for watching. So just as a follow-up to the test, we decided to put a 300 grain 44 Magnum hollow point and see what that does on the vest. So just for the testing, we've marked the three shots that had the, two, the uh, 240 grain, and now we're going to do the 300 grain just to show you that we uh, made another single separate shot. Okay, this next shot is with the 300 grain hollow point. Firing line. Let's see where I hit. Yep, no penetration. Okay, nothing. No penetration with the 300 grain, grain hollow point 44. 44 mag. Now let's see where she's at. Okay, as you can see, we're cutting open a separate hole next to the other shots. This is where. 300 grain hollow point was shot, and with no penetration, we are going to see where the bullet landed. And of course, it's, it went through, actually didn't go through any panels, it rolled this. It rolled this from inside in. So actually the impact right the was surface. absorbed in, in, a, in a lot of layers, but also the entire impact was stopped with this new technology of a bulletproof vest. Thanks to Mr. Tim Moore and Mr. Vanderwall and Zangi, a war vet. That's Vets right. There is. Okay, this uh, concludes the testing, the NIJ testing, not in the open for the uh, 44 mag on the, the new bulletproof vest. And uh, we've had a lot of willing participants here to help us out, and um, we've been very successful. And Mr. Tim Moore. Stop by MITGel.com. <laughs>